Hey everybody, this is Jay coming to you from the garage today. Got a new tool. Got a ramp. This is a 30 degree ramp. Uh, why did I make a ramp? Because I want to know what the ramp travel index is of my RC cars. Ramp travel index will compare the linear distance that a vehicle is able to travel up a ramp uh, from your reference plane and compare that number, divide that number by the wheelbase of the vehicle. You see these in the one-to-one -one world at uh, truck shows and off-road festivals and stuff like that, uh, people doing ramp contests. So a contest is normalized, which means I can take a 1987 Ranger and compare that against a 2021 Dodge TRX. Well, completely different vehicles, but they compete on the same ramp or the same angle ramp and their ramp travel index is directly comparable. You can, you can measure RTI on anything, uh, on any ramp, it doesn't matter. Uh, but you can only compare RTIs. I can compare, this vehicle has a 700 RTI, for example, on a 30 degree ramp. On a 20 degree ramp, the RTI would be much higher because the vehicle is gonna travel a lot further along the ramp to get the same amount of vertical wheel height. 30 degree ramps are also awesome because if you have the length traveled up the ramp, remember from geometry, we can simply divide by two to get the vertical distance. So let's see how this does. This is a UTB 18. It's basically stock. And what I'm looking for, the distance, how far it can travel up the ramp. I'm going to remove my helper ramp uh, can is determined when the rear wheel starts lifting off the ground. And I've overdriven that. So when this wheel comes off the ground, you are, you're done. There we go. I'm looking for it to barely, barely be touching the table. And this one is just barely touching the table. So I'd call that, I'd call that a, a, a good run. So center, center of my uh, wheel hub, I measure perpendicularly to the incline plane. I've got my scale on the front of the ramp here. I'm gonna estimate 220. So 220, 220 millimeters of travel along the ramp divided by 232 millimeters of wheelbase is gonna give me an RTI just under 1,000. A thousand is a lot of times what you might hear as perfect. However, if I had a heavily modified truck, this one's a modified truck compared to like a real truck, but it's stock. If I were to do more with it, I might be able to drive it all the way up here. And this tire could still be sitting flat on the ground. That would be a ramp travel index over a thousand. You can get extended links for the rear. Uh, you might put aftermarket stuff on here and it's going to change the wheelbase of the vehicle. You might uh, modify your shocks or clearancing, uh, take limiters out, put limiters in, add negative springs. You might do all kinds of things that are going to affect the total amount of flex that you have on a vehicle. So first we measure, then we modify, then we measure again. So that's how ramp travel index works. I'm going to be making a few changes to uh, this Capra. Um, also comparing against TRX4 and some other vehicles. So I think this is going to be a great tool to have in the toolbox to be able to compare uh, changes and have discussions, bigger discussions, like how much flex is too much flex. Um, I think it's going to be handy. So stay tuned and thank you. Talk to you later.